John King USA, CNN, weeknights 7 Eastern. Now that he's back from North Korea, New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson is tackling an issue that's really controversial. Before leaving office next month, should he pardon Billy the Kid? Governor Richardson joins us now from Santa Fe. So, Governor, this is sort of pardon season for a lot of governors around the country, and you have one of the most controversial decisions of them all, at this time at least. Have you decided whether you're going to pardon Billy the Kid? Well, Joe, I haven't decided. I'm going to decide tomorrow because I've only got one more day as governor. So the decision has to be tomorrow. It's going to be a very close call. It's not going to be a blanket pardon because Billy did kill some law enforcement officers when he was escaping the Lincoln County Jail. The issue is, did a previous New Mexico governor, Lou Wallace, promise Billy a pardon in exchange for some testimony? And if that is the case, if there's conclusive proof, then there will be a pardon. A lot of us uh, know or think we know something about Billy the Kid, and that is mostly through books and movies and so on. Let's take a look at a clip now just to refresh the memory of viewers out there about who Billy the Kid was or who we think he was. Rape the whirlwind, Sheriff Brady. Rape it. It's for you, Alex. You weren't supposed to touch Brady. Sheriff Brady sent the men who killed John. It was a good move for us, Alex. So was it, Billy? Yes, it was! Have you seen the Independent? The governor's revoked your deputization powers. You're now wanted by the legitimate law as well as those outside the law. So, Governor, does Hollywood have the image of Billy the Kid right? Or as my seven-year-old son might say, was he a good guy or a bad guy or a little bit of both? Well, he was a bad guy. But the issue is whether that governor, Lou Wallace, who, by the way, is the one that wrote Ben-Hur, he was a territorial governor at the time, appointed by the president, in fact made that promise to Billy. And the issue is whether Billy should be pardoned for uh, the, the murder of Sheriff uh, Brady, who at the time uh, was in law enforcement, but he was also doing the bidding for a group called a syndicate called the Santa Fe Ring. So there weren't good and bad guys, at least at this instance. But, Joe, there are four killings tied directly to Billy. There's a myth about Billy across the board. But this is part of Americana. This is part of the American West. But I've heard from all over the world, we set up a website, uh, Europe, Asia, a tremendous fascination. Historians uh, across the board generally favor Billy getting the pardon. But uh, I just think if you make a pardon and you're a governor, you've got to be very certain of your action. I've dealt with this issue for eight years now, and, and I am going to wait till the last minute to make the decision, and it'll be tomorrow, Joe. Don't you kind of wonder whether this is the kind of guy who would have wanted to be an outlaw at the end of the day and even identified as such by the governor of New Mexico? Well, yeah. I mean, Billy was not a good guy. But uh, the issue is not his entire life, because uh, he did kill two deputies when he was escaping from the Lincoln County Jail. So I'm not giving him, if I do a pardon, a blanket pardon across the board. The guy was a criminal. Uh, but the issue is this specific Sheriff Brady instance. And did the governor of New Mexico promise him a pardon in exchange for some testimony in this murder case? So... You know, you're evaluating legal documents, you're evaluating uh, newspaper clippings, uh, what relatives say, but it's fascinating. Uh, uh, and Billy the Kid is part of, uh, as you said, Americana, and, uh, and everybody's interested. It's, uh, it's fun, though. Joe, you know, in these days when you're broadcast, you're talking about wars and uh, people not getting home for the holidays and, and economic downturn. You know, this is a fun part of America. And, and by the way, I admit it's good publicity for New Mexico and New Mexico history. Yeah, but now the other side of that, of course, is I'm sure there are realists on the ground in New Mexico who say we've got a lot of pressing concerns, budget shortfalls, what have you. Why would the governor of New Mexico be spending so much time on an issue like this when we have other pressing issues? Well, look, uh, I'm not spending a lot of time on it. Uh, I've... I've studied this issue 
over the years. You know, we're dealing with a budget with a transition to a new governor here. Uh, I was in North Korea, as you mentioned, so I'm dealing with serious issues. Uh, again, um, this is something that New Mexicans over the years and Western buffs want settled. And, you know, we've had a huge response to whether we should pardon him or not. So a lot of people do care, and it's good to put this issue to bed.